welcome to Travel Star 98 and I'm going to continue the Malayan Railway Vlog series. I started the journey with the KDM commuter from KL Central to Balanasi Selatan. KDM commuter is a suburban railway line operated by KDM Berhad. It serves Sarawak Port Cloud and Batik of Saramban, also jumps other lines. The train has a small TV at the side of the doors showing service information. Station berikutnya, Bandar Tasik Selatan. Next station. Bandar Tasik Selatan This is the map of the SCS train Coaches 3 and 4 are ladies coach for women only Bandar Tasik Selatan Station Pertukaran ke Rapid KL KLIA Express Dan Terminal Bersepadu Selatan GPS Now I arrive at the Bandar Tasik Selatan station the KDM commuter continuing its journey towards Surabat. And there's a KLI Express train passing by the station. Malanasi Selatan Station is an interchange station to the KLI Transit and the LRT Sri Patalik Line. Yes, I'm going to ride the Rapid KL Sri Patalik Line or known as Ampang Line. This train is using an old Atlas LRT type. This is in fact the Atrans LRT train. Every two coaches are not connected to each other. The Atrans train has been operating since 1996 and it will retire this year when the signaling system of the Ampang or Tripataling line has been upgraded. Now I'm in Sri Patali LRT station and I'm going to continue on the new Ampang Line extension. Station Berikutnya, IOI Ujong Jaya. Next station, IOI Ujong Jaya. Now I'm in the LRT Ampang Line extension. Which is using the new CSR 2 trains. And this train will replace the Arjun train starting next year. The interior of the new CSR official trains are very clean. It has an LED screen on the edge of the coach and also showing the arrow of which door will open. Also, it has a small TV showing the train information. You can also take a peek at the driver's cap, but don't blame me if the driver's cap piece. So now I'm on the LRT Ampang on extension from Sintali to Banda Putri. And this is the new CSR train for the Rapid Tail Ampang Line, which will replace the old Ampang Line trains next year. Station Berikutnya, Pusat Pada Puchong. Next station, Pusat Pada Puchong. The train stops at Awan Besar, Mukhiba, Alam Sutra, Kindra Rapid BK Lima, Anuai Puchong Jaya, Pusat Pada Puchong. And lastly, Bandar Putri before extending to Putra Heights in Turkey. The extension opens on the 31st of October 2015, running from Sri Patali to Awan Besar, Mukiba, Alam Sutra, and Kinrara BK Lima. From 31st of March 2016, the extension continues to IOI Pujong Jaya. Pusat Bandar Puchong, Taman Perindustrian Puchong, and Bandar Putri. The extension will be completed in 30 June 2016 until Putra Heights and will connect to the Kelana Jaya Line. Here is the exterior of the new LRT Ampang Line train. First, I didn't plan to ride the KLIA Transit train from Bandar Asik Selatan to KL Central until I saw that the KTM commuter waiting time sucks, so I bought the KLI Transit, which costs 6 ringgit. Oh, 
Oh no, this is the guest coach. Me and some passengers almost get inside the baggage area. Destinasi train KLIA Transit ini adalah KL Central. Station berikutnya, KL Central. This KLIA Transit train is bound for KL Central. Next station, KL Central. It's a now to be a KLIA Express train operating for KLIA Transit. That's why I almost get inside the baggage area. The journey from Bandara Sik Selatan to KL Central using the KLIA Transit seems way faster than using the KTM commuter train. I arrive at the KLIA Transit platform in KL Central Station. I love the old livery rather than the cheetah livery. Next, you must be familiar with the KL Monorail. I started to arrive from KL Central. But the KL Monorail Station is not at the KL Central building. So you have to pass by New Central to get into the monorail station. The KL monorail runs in the heart of the city, from KL Central to Titiwangsa. It runs above the Jalan Sultan Ismail, where there are many shopping districts along the route, such as Bukit Bintang. The KL monorail runs in two cars, and the new train has four cars, but you won't get it easily. It has limited space, so most of the ride to get packed by many passengers. Last but not least, the Rapid KL LRT Lana Jaya Line. So we're gonna start with the Dangwangi LRT station. I found that the Sultan has ever been on this train from the loyalty award here. Here is the ride from the front view as the Pranajaya line train is driverless. This is from Masjid Jamek to Pasarseni as the train goes up from the underground section to the elevated section. <laughs> I am on board a PS and advertisement train, so there is an extra announcement regarding the sponsor. I am going to translate it as the announcement will be repeated. For all good savers, young children, workers, and travelers, PSN is always with you everywhere. You can see the light in front now as the train is going outside the underground section. We are now in the elevated section. We are now arriving at Pasar Seni Station. Here is the exterior of the BSN sponsored 4 car LRT train. So ends my Malayan Railway Vlog this season. Stay tuned for more videos with Travel Star 98.